Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a special adventure over Colombia. I had a big dream, flying with a Douglas DC-3, the workhorse of the Amazon. This plane was the beginning of air travel and is still the lifeline for many people in the Colombian jungle. It all began in 1935. And now the passengers. While this man checks the name of each one, it is almost time to start. We have left the ground. We are flying. After a lot of research, I found a place where this story is still alive. Welcome to Via Vicencio, Colombia. Via Vicencio or Via Vo is the largest city of the Meta Department. It is located 80 kilometers southeast of the Colombian capital of Bogota. It lies between the Andenas mountain range, the Amazon rainforest and on the edge of the Colombian plain called Los Llanos. The city was and maybe still is considered as the Douglas DC-3 capital of South America. For this reason we have to go to the airport called La Buangardia. So I have a personal dream and here in Via Vicencio I hopefully can do it. The Douglas CC3, also called a C-47 Dakota or Skytrain, was the first successful commercial airliner. First flown in 1935 and adapted to the military use during the World War II. Powered by two piston engines with a wingspan of 28 meters, it has seen one of the longest commercial runs of any aircraft. It also became famous during the Berlin airlift operation in 1948 and 1949. DC-3 is the lifeline to some remote villages in the Amazon rainforest. Tomorrow morning we will bring passengers and cargo to three remote villages. The next morning we prepared for our first flight to Kumaribo, which is located 400 kilometers east in the department of Pichada. We are just on the final approach to Kumaribo. People have already been waiting for us. Kumaribo is a small town with about 25,000 inhabitants. 
It has a small airfield and a poor road connection that is impossible during the rainy season. After just 15 minutes of unloading and loading people and cargo, we continue to our second destination, Barranco Minas. Located next to the Rio Guaviare, Barrancominas is a small village with 4,000 residents. You can find a few mini markets, a church, a restaurant, a school, and even a small disco. In addition to the passengers, we transported food, a lot of fans, a generator, a fridge, a cat, and a bicycle. There is no road connection, and it will take several days by boat to reach the nearest town. Because we expected a thunderstorm on the return flight, we had to move on as quickly as possible. Thank you. 